Winter seems to have returned to Ottawa. We received around 10 centimeters of snow last night. We've had no snow on the ground for, um, I don't know, three, four weeks now, maybe a little bit longer. Anyways, it's back with a vengeance, which leads me to this week's topic, intervals. Now I'm assuming most of you have moved your cycling indoors if you live in this kind of climate. So I'm talking about intervals performed on the indoor trainer. Lots of options out there for indoor trainers. Lots of options out there for training plans, which are ostensibly interval driven. So I wanted to share with you guys this week the type of training that I do, the type of training I do over the winter period, which for us is really November, December, January, February, March, five months. It's kind of sad. So I want to show you the type of workouts I do during the week and the type of workouts I do on the weekend to try and keep me fit or fit-ish. I like to maintain a baseline of power. I know I'm not going to be as strong or as fit as I am during the summer months when I ride a lot more. So, you know, I want to keep things in perspective. I'm assuming most of you, like me, have a full-time job that is not a YouTube vlogger full-time job that requires a lot of mind share, full-time job that takes up a lot of time. So, you know, I work nine to five. I need to squeeze in my workday workouts, either first thing in the morning before I drive to work or at the end of the day when I come home. Some people love to work out first thing in the morning. Some people like to work out at the end of the day. I'm a the end of the day kind of guy. There's lots of different workouts out there. I personally use Zwift. I have used Trainer Road. It's a very good program, but personally, I'm kind of leaning towards Zwift these days. Their workouts are pretty good, and um, but what I have done more recently is design my own workouts because I find that with the Zwift workouts, if you do one of their plans, their requirements are at least five hours during the week before you get to the weekend workout. That's quite the commitment. I'm realistic. I like to give myself at least an hour after work to do a workout. In the past, I've done sweet spot training. It seemed to have worked okay. But this year, as I've mentioned in an earlier vlog, what I've really tried to do is periodization type of training, which if I have this correct, is an 80-20 split. 80% zone two, 20% zone four, zone five. Zone two is not easy peasy. You should still be working a little bit. Longer rides, zone two, and then at the end, the 20%, zone four, zone five, that's where you wanna be doing the work. Go as hard as you can for that 20%. Let's have a look at a few of these workouts. I title them after the days of the week in Espanol, lunes, martes, maracoles, so on and so forth. These workouts are either between 40 and 50 plus minutes, capping at an hour. I rarely go over an hour with my workouts. So as you can see here, there is plenty of blue, which for me is zone two. My FTP also, as you can see here, is 214 watts. And I cap out just over 235 watts for my zone five. So a nice warm up three, four minutes, something like that. And then I typically settle in to my zone two, which for me is anywhere from 135 to 165 watts. Settle into that for anywhere between seven and 15 minutes, depending on the day. 
um, what I try to reduce is the amount of zone one in between my intervals. So if I can keep the power up, even though it drops a little bit between those intervals, I'm kind of happy doing that. So noodle along doing my zone twos, and then towards the end of my workout, which you can see here, is I try to push into my zone fours and try and hold, um, you know, 200 plus watts for three, four minutes. Maybe I'll do a quick interval of 15 seconds around 300 watts just to make it spicy and then back down. These are my rides for during the week. Moving on to Sabado, Saturday. This is what my longer ride looks like. Now again, I'm following exactly the same principle of the 80-20 split for the most part. Sometimes it's a little bit more weighted in the zone four, sometimes it's a little bit more weighted in the zone two. But I like to keep it in and around that 80-20 split. So this one is an hour and 17 minutes. Again, there's some little spicy intervals in there around zone five, but uh, that's okay. And longer durations on the zone four. But right now, I'm a big proponent of those longer stretches, settling in, doing your zone two, which here is around 155, 160 watts. Settle in, do that, and then get to the work towards the end. One of the things I really like about interval training is it does make the time pass by. So there you have it, interval training, real quick. How many days a week do I ride? I probably ride five to six days a week. They're not totally debilitating these workouts, which is great, which means you can do them day in and day out. But again, the legs need a break. Let me know what type of riding you do. Let me know what type of intervals you do. Let me know if you do similar type of trainings. I'm always open to new recommendations on how to improve my training. Uh, that's a wrap. Have a great week. We will regroup next week. Take care.